I here with Chandeep at Goodly once again and you can see that this is a pretty informal video that I'm making. I'm nowhere close to my laptop, nowhere near my desk. I'm currently walking on my terrace and recording this video and I'm holidaying at the moment. I'm in India. I'm just uh, here for a few days and I'm going to be celebrating New Year with my family and then I'll head back to Dubai. Um, now, as I was walking, a thought came across my mind because today happens to be a very special day for me. Eight years ago today, on the 1st of December, as of this recording, I started Goodly. I mean, today was my first full full-time day with Goodly, uh, that's when I actually started. So it's been eight full years of me running Goodly. Now, one fun fact about, about my working career is that I've never ever been promoted in my life for all the jobs that I've held in the past. I've never ever been promoted. I mean, on the verge of promotion and I left a job. So I thought I will just might as well start my own company to give me promotions and since then I have been running this setup. All right. Now, little talks aside, I do wanted to share one very interesting DAX tip with you guys that will actually help you learn DAX better in a more structured way of that particular function is and what is going to be the output of any function that you're trying to learn. For instance, let's just say that if you're trying to learn the SUMX function, the input parameter or the first input parameter of the SUMX function is a table. And if you write anything which doesn't convert to a table as the first part of the sumx function that function is not going to work so focus on what the input parameter is typically the input parameters are tables or columns or expressions and that's exactly what you have to feed inside of the formula at the relevant part now also focus on what the output of any particular function is so let's just say for instance the sumx function delivers you a single scalar value output on the other hand the add column function delivers you a table so these functions are just like Lego blocks and if you understand what the input parameter is and what the output of any particular function is, you can creatively mix and match these functions to kind of achieve whatever you're trying to do in DAX. So that was my tip. Focus on the input and the output of any particular function. All right, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching this little informal clip that I created. And of course, a big thanks for supporting my work all throughout these years. In case you have left a like, left a comment, shared my video, purchased any of my courses or hired me for training or consulting work or just watch any video that I have created in the past. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. And that's been it. I will see you once again with another more formal tutorial in the time to come. Thanks so much and stay tuned. Bye bye.